For a second there in week 15, it looked like Tom Brady and the Buccaneers had things going the right direction against the Bengals. Then, it all went bad. Real fast. Now the Bucks are 6-8, and eight, but they're also in sole possession of first place in the NFC South as they limp their way to the finish line. Speaking of limping, the 4-10 and 10 Arizona Cardinals are down to their third string quarterback, and Trace McSorley couldn't outduel Brett Ripon in the game that everyone forgot happened this weekend. Colt McCoy exited the game after sustaining a concussion, so it'll be a waiting game to see if he can get through concussion protocol to play this week. And despite my personal love for McSorley, for his time at Penn State, it's bad news for the Cardinals if McCoy can't go. McSorley went 7 for 15 passing with two INTs against the Broncos in the 24 to 15 loss. The Cardinals offense is 21st in total yardage and it was primarily built around Kyler Murray playing backyard football, not the scheming of Cliff Kingsbury. Without Murray, I have no faith in this offense. That's not to say I have any faith in the Tampa Bay offense either. The Buccaneers cannot run the ball. They haven't been able to all season and last week they ran it for 92 yards against Cincinnati. That means a lot falls on Tom Brady's aging shoulders as he completed 30 of his 44 attempts for 312 yards and three touchdowns, but also had two costly picks and lost two fumbles. Cincinnati capitalized on those turnovers. Arizona won't be able to, and this will be a low-scoring affair. Play here. Bucks, cards, under, 41 and a half. What say you? Let me know comment section. Always interested to hear your take. Taylor Fade, may the way to be yours. Good luck and go get them. This is... Training Rabbit.